Hey guys, what's up? Power Up Boxing here. And uh, haven't done a video in a while actually. But uh, fight coming up in about a couple hours, around 11, 12 p.m. Um, in where I live anyway. Where the main event will start. Manny Pacquiao versus Jesse Vargas. Who do I think is going to win the fight? What do, I, what do I think about the whole card in general? Good fights on there. You got Nonito Donaire fighting. Um, you got a upcoming uh, what's prospect. Uh, what's his name? Uh, can't think of his name right now. I know. It's, I forget right now his name. But it's, it's a good card. Um, the fact that they put Don Nonito Donaire on it makes it a good card in my opinion. Um, Zhao Shimeng's on there. Um, Man, I can't think of that guy's name right now, that prospect. Um, man, it's a, it's, I forget the name right now. But anyway, uh, Manny Pacquiao versus Jesse Vargas, the main event, welterweight WBO title. Who do I think will win? Manny Pacquiao is going to win. Decision, unanimous decision or a TKO win if the ref will stop it. Because Jesse Vargas is tough. I don't think he will give up. But I think once he gets hit with that snappy left, straight left, his game plan is going to change. Just the levels are different here. Manny Pacquiao is a level, couple levels above him. Um, I'm not saying that uh, Jesse Vargas can't win the fight. He can win the fight. It's just uh, like he needs to really improve his game drastically. So... Like I said, anything's possible, but um, it's pretty much in the minds of the fans. It's a mismatch. Uh, once it's not a competitive on paper, like not saying it's not going to be competitive, but watching the performances of both lately, uh, unless one gets a lot better and one gets a lot worse, it is going to play out pretty much. It's it's predictable. Fight like it's not like um, Sean Porter Keith Thurman like you don't really know who's gonna win that right like that kind of fight um, it's not like um, to ex extent Andre Ward versus Kovalev because Andre Ward hasn't lost since he was 12 years old or something Kovalev knocks out everyone pretty well so it's not like that kind of fight and if Manny Pacquiao was fighting Kell Brook or if Manny Pacquiao was fighting Keith Thurman it would be a different story. A lot of people would be uncertain who would win. But in this fight, it's pretty much certain. Like, and like I said, when I mean certain, I don't mean it's 100%. Like, obviously anything can happen. But Manny Pacquiao should win if it's Manny Pacquiao fighting. And uh, for Jesse Vargas to win, he would have to drastically improve. And Manny Pacquiao would have to drastically decline. And... It just doesn't, uh, usually that doesn't happen. Um, that It doesn't happen like that usually. Uh, so, I got Manny Pacquiao winning. Uh, Manny Pacquiao has been hungrier lately, it seems. In interviews, he seems very happy in his training, hitting the mitts with Freddie. Uh, he, he's uh, been missing boxing. He says, I actually believe him because I, I don't think it's just money. I think he actually did miss it. He said he was watching Gennady Golovkin versus Kell Brook, and that sparked his interest in fighting again. I guess seeing a smaller guy fight a bigger guy, say, oh, I want to do that, because it reminded him against him versus Margarita or something. I don't know. But he's hungry, and uh, he missed boxing, and he, he wants to prove that a senator can be champion. That's another motivation. So really, you got to look at what can influence the fight. He's a senator now. He works, apparently he's, some days he was working 7 to 7, 12 hour shift, I don't know. Like that's kind of, that's a lot. But we've seen Manny Pacquiao always been preoccupied with things for years. He's been doing this since the earlier days. He's been, he's been multitasking on many different things he wanted to pursue. So, mentally it's not going to affect him going in the fight. Obviously because... Mentally, he's 
got a lot of mentally, mentally he's got a lot of energy to be doing, to be working like that, like working eight to 12 hour, whatever shift in Congress and then training. He must have the mental stamina for it. So that's not an issue. The mental stamina, he's probably not stressed out because if he's been doing, he's been doing this for a while, not the Senate, but other things like acting and songwriting and he's been a congressman. So mentally, he has the stamina. It's not going to affect him in the training camp. But physically, it's more of a toll maybe. Because, like I said, he's spending so much time sitting down and just in the office, whatever they do, uh, speeches and all that in Congress. But it's, from what we've seen, it shouldn't be a big factor. The amount of time he's been spending being a senator, it shouldn't be a factor. The bigger factors will be, like, just he's getting older. That's that's a bigger one than, I think, than the time he's been putting in. But we'll, we'll see, obviously. Um, he's, Manny Pacquiao's got the speed advantage, the power advantage, uh, the skill advantage, and the experience advantage. Jesse Vargas has the, the, youth, ex, the youth advantage. Um, he's got the, the height advantage, the reach advantage, and probably the hunger advantage. I would say, like, I, I can't see Manny Pacquiao being hungrier, but you never know, but you really can't see an older fighter being as hungry as a younger fighter, but, so you got to give that to Jesse Vargas too, and uh, he's a guy, Jesse Vargas views himself as being undefeated, really, he thought he knocked out Timothy Bradley, he should have anyway, so he views himself still as undefeated, so his confidence is high, Manny Pacquiao knows he's been beaten before, but obviously Manny Pacquiao has a different mentality about losing. He doesn't come back all with his head down. He tries harder and gets even more confidence in himself so that won't happen again to him. So he's, he, he takes the negative and he makes it a positive. So really, the losses and the knockout loss that he suffered doesn't really affect him. Actually, you could say it, it benefited him because he's more cautious. So I think... Jesse Vargas' best plan is to obviously stick to his, try to stick to his game plan, try to use his reach, and try to counter smartly, not get too aggressive, but not get too defensive in between short spurts of aggressiveness and uh, stuff like that. So he's got to be aggressive and not aggressive at the same time, Jesse Vargas. And then Manny Pacquiao's just got to be Manny Pacquiao, adapt do what he does best, awkwardness, angles, explosiveness, very short burst power out of nowhere, just lay on the combination. So really, that's all Manny Pacquiao's got to do. It's what Jesse Vargas has to do. You don't got to really look and see what Manny Pacquiao's got to do. Because Pacquiao, we already know, without a game plan, without a game plan, Mac, Manny Pacquiao's just, he's dangerous. Like, he's just... His raw explosiveness with his footwork and his speed. He doesn't even need a game plan to be Jesse Vargas. Jesse Vargas needs a game plan. He needs to be perfect, I would say. So, yeah, so Jesse Vargas obviously try to land the right hand, but if he thinks about the right, right hand too much, it's not going to work. Manny Pacquiao has tightened his defense, especially against the right hand, since the Marquez knockout. He keeps his hand higher up. He's more... Um, cautious about the right hand now and he's always very observant now and that's why Manny Pacquiao doesn't throw as many punches as he used to he's not as aggressive as he used to be and even more so after the Marquez knockout I would say that's when he really changed to be more defensive and more doesn't throw as many punches more conservative with his energy more conserves his energy more picks his spots more so that's definitely going to be harder for Jesse Vargas to land that right hand when you got a guy who knows like what the guy other guy is trying to do they're trying to do what Marquez does and Manny Pacquiao knows that so he's going to keep that hand up here and even if the right hand lands he tightens up he, he braces for it he braces his chin for it and you probably you'll get hurt maybe but you won't get knocked out if you're braced for it really the punch you don't see coming really is the one that's going to knock you out. And that's what Pacquiao didn't see the Marquez punch coming. So that's why. So, 
Yeah, so there you go. I think uh, I went over the vantages, and uh, the Pacquiao has the vantages that Vargas has. Um, I think Manny Pacquiao, at the start of the fight, it will be more even, obviously, because I think Pacquiao starts off slower these days, and he's more, like I said, he's more cautious, more more uh, conserves his energy more, doesn't throw as many punches. So I think... Uh, I think he's just he's just got to be uh, patient. He's just got to take his time like he has been since the Marquez fight. He's been more of a smarter fighter. Uses his experience, his skill, and just land the shots when he uh, needs to. And uh, Vargas, he's uh, obviously, like I said, he's got to try to use his reach, his jab, try to offset Pacquiao's rhythm. That's hard to do. He's just got to be aggressive at at uh, different times. So try to surprise Manny. He's got to be unpredictable. He can't be predictable. If you're predictable against Manny Pacquiao, he's gonna he's gonna land a lot of shots on you. So I think Manny Pacquiao's just levels above him. Too much experience, and I didn't want to see this fight really. Um, I want to see Pacquiao versus Terrence Crawford or Danny Garcia. Even though Danny Garcia, pretty much, I think he's on a lower level too, if you ask me. I think Terrence Crawford would be, he, Terrence Crawford, you don't know how good he is. So that's why I wanted to see that. But Danny Garcia, you pretty much know what he's got to offer at this point. Um, and I think that would be a good fight. For Manny to put on his resume, beating Danny Garcia and getting that title, uh, so I I'd, I'd rather see want to see Danny or Crawford, or obviously Keith Thurman wasn't really talked about. Broner it would be good entertaining, but really Broner's not on Pacquiao's level. But either is Vargas. But like I said, I'm not counting Vargas out, but he's got a lot of odds against them. Manny Pacquiao's just the better fighter. It's it's just so. Well, the pay-per-view is starting in 10 minutes, and uh, the, the undercards have already started, so you can check it out on TopRank.com or the pay-per-view channel on your cable network. Um, so I got Manny Pacquiao. Starts off even fight, because Manny Pacquiao just isn't as aggressive, so it'll be even for the first couple rounds. Then Manny Pacquiao will slowly start picking him apart and uh, rack up the points. Depends on how Vargas, how experienced he is about, about surviving. Because I think Manny Pacquiao will start putting him on the back foot and landing big shots and possibly get a TKO win in uh, the middle to later rounds. If not, and Jesse Vargas knows how to survive and uh, shows up in his best shape possible, this could go to decision. But I got Manny Pacquiao winning by unanimous decision or TKO, ref stopping him. Uh, is there going to be knockdowns? Possibly. We're going to find out. And... Uh, Go Pac-Man, hashtag, hashtag Team Legend, go on Twitter, hashtag Team Legend if you're for Pacquiao, hashtag The Champ, Team Champ, if you're uh, Jesse Vargas, on Jesse, if you think he's going to win. So, go Manny, um, Manny Pacquiao says he wants, he's going to, he wants more auction in the ring, more excitement for the fans, more auction for the fans, more aggressiveness, so... We're going to see. Jesse Vargas wants to prove that his team put in all the work and he is capable of beating Manny Pacquiao. We're going to see. Um, we got the old lion who's still on top of his game versus the younger lion who's trying to rise up to, the, to, the, to a higher level. So it's going to be a good fight. A Pacquiao fight's always good, but... Pacquiao's just on another level, and he's going to win this fight, in my opinion. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching Power Boxing, Powering Down. Go Pac-Man.